On my way up the mountain today, there were a lot of little uh, devilish dudes hanging around. The more it seemed like, the more uh, the more exercised I got, the more my heart rate went up. The more of them gathered around, uh, like the body cells maybe were, um, you know, set into a um, kind of an agitation by the by the, the the walking up a steep slope, right? So then I sat at the top of the mountain and 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 all of the um, the sounds around me that sounded a little like aggravation or like that, they all started to calm down, right? But then on top when I was uh, walking along the ridge, um, I noticed some like little little devil dudes and demons and stuff hanging around, swooping in. Who are you? Who are you like that? And so I tried tricking them. I said, instead of light worker, I said, I'm a dark worker. And they and they all went scattered off just like that. But uh, this only worked for a short time, you see. They have a, a, a mandate from the guy in, that's in charge of that local group. He says that humans can't lie and that the devils and demons can, right? So they figured that we're telling the truth. But when you do that, when you say, I'm a dark worker, and you really mean you're really not telling the truth, then all of the nature spirits get upset, and then they start chasing you around. So it's better to tell the truth in the spirit world, <laughs> as I found out later. So I got down to the bottom of the mountain, and I sat on my favorite uh, meditation stone for a while. The one that has a gift to the fairies, it's an orange um, cat's eye marble. And I was sitting there, and then I announced with great jubilation, I'm a light worker, I'm a light worker, I'm a light worker in the astral realms, right? And all of the fairies and nature spirits gathered around me, they got all excited. They were discussing the pros and cons of not telling the truth if you're a human. And so I was on my way back and I visualized doing an Irish jig with all of my nature spirit friends. And they were following along with me. They were delighted. They love it when I sing songs and hum songs as I go along. It can be astral or physical, actually humming. And so they love to, to follow along with the sound of, of, of a voice on the astral plane singing. And they love dance. And they, they love to, to mimic humans when they dance. So by the time I got back to the starting point here, I found that I had a whole coterie of, of beautiful nature spirits around me. So I took one more marble out, a beautiful blue cat's eye marble, and I placed it in the place where the sunlight will hit it on a sunny day, in a special place for my new friends to enjoy it. You know, dear ones, I, I'm sometimes I have trouble explaining stuff, but for the young folks that are looking at this video, I would like to explain something about trees and tree spirits and um, and how the stewardship of the of the natural world takes place. You see, there is a whole other kingdom besides the kingdom that we see in the physical world. It's called the Davic Kingdom. And the Davic Kingdom, well, those that, that undertake the, the greatest responsibility of stewardship of, of planet Earth are the Davis who are ancient beings with great wisdom, and they form a David council. There are devas I've read of, of the cliffs. I've seen them of the cliffs, of the mountaintops, sometimes of great vast valleys, of the ocean. There are devas of the sun, and I'll bet there are devas of the moon, although I haven't heard about them. And just about every great natural feature has a deva in charge of it, right? And, and in the care of the devas are all the nature spirits and the elementals. And so 
when you come to trees here in this on this walk, there are great old oak trees here, great treasures of earth. And folks don't know that there are nature spirits assigned to take care of, of these trees. Several, quite a few actually, when it comes to the largest trees. Now, the nature spirits take particular pride in the shape of the tree and in making sure that it can live happily and long. And there, I saw some, some trees today with um, what you might call graffiti, um, paint sprayed on them in, in pictures and words today. And I have to say that it just breaks their hearts when this happens to their trees. So please, if you are a young person and you like to make your mark on the world with graffiti, please don't do it on living beings such as trees, okay? It's very important that we make friends with the Davis because they're boycotting Los Angeles and the large cities right now because they can't tolerate the living conditions there for the nature spirits. And so the nature spirits are, um, are, are having a very difficult time of it. That's why plants don't grow very well in the cities, you know. And we need plants because without plants we won't have oxygen in the air. So please do your very best to respect the natural world and, and help it to flourish in a natural state. Well, that's my statement for today. I speak on behalf of the nature spirits that I met on the trail. Have a wonderful day and happy adventures in the, in the natural world.